Military College is on parade. Back when we uh, started the Persian Rifles, was during my freshman year, and the um, cadet captain named Bachelieri, who took it upon himself to uh, to begin a drill team, and he tried to uh, get the upperclassmen to volunteer. Well, upperclassmen, as you know, don't volunteer very well, so he got the freshmen to volunteer, and of course we all said yes, sir. So we would go out and practice way before the Corps would get up. And after a few weeks, he eliminated some guys, and I was lucky enough to be chosen to be one of the, one of the uh, members. And after a few weeks, he had a drill team going, I could assure you of that. But it wasn't a drill team as we know it today. We didn't have the fast step and all the fancy stuff. We did the basic drill. And the only performance we ever gave was Mother's Day. And of course, we, pre we performed at uh, Shy Park in Philadelphia, which some of you old timers might remember the Philadelphia Athletics played there. The drill team evolved when we were practicing one day and I was given the uh, commands of the drill team from outside the unit. And this young man who was, who was a cadet, and as it turned out, he was a veteran student who came and joined us as a cadet. He was sitting up in the stands watching us perform. And he jumped out of the stands, came down on the field, and he approached me, and he said to me, excuse me, ladies, what the hell are you doing out there? And I said, well, we have a drill team. Do you call that a drill team? His name was Bert Mazio. And he took over. The first thing he did, he said to me, you no longer will give commands from outside the unit. You will be inside the unit. And we will eventually become a silent drill. We kind of looked at him and said, what is this guy talking about? We had heard about the uh, Persian rifle. At that time, we weren't called the Persian rifle. We just called the PMC drill team. We found out about the Persian rifle's uh, national unit, and we applied for a membership. And we received that membership after I graduated in the fall of the school year 52-53. And Bert Mazio was the, the gentleman who was responsible for teaching the drill team all of the drills, the fast cadence, all the movements that eventually evolved to the national championships of what, 11 consecutive years? When you consider all of the schools that they competed against, and you'd see what those schools would come out and do, and then you'd see ours come out there. I mean, everybody, everybody, including the military officers who were the judges, I saw many of them drop their clipboards yeah. in awe and watching yeah. those guys drill and what they did. One of the things I'll, that I'll never forget is nationals. In, in, in drilling, one of the things that they do is they have an inspection arms. Well, one of the most outstanding things when you're a driller is to see a drill team that goes out and does this particular movement and you only hear one click when the rifles open, one when they closed and one when they clicked them off. And so impressed was the crowd because they knew what it was that I can remember being on the floor and everybody going, oh. <laughs>
Everybody knew that, you know, yeah. you were the best. One thing when a unit's marching together and turn together, but when you're totally spread out from one point in the center and then have to come back together at the same time, and some of the, some of the moves you actually passed through, you didn't even come together. A movement called Blackout. Our senior year, we came up with quadruple blackout. And the funny thing was, we it only worked every two out of three times in practice. And we decided to drill that in the national competition. And I remember all the guys in the team were scared to death. When we did that, and I glanced over at the Marine Major as I saw him put his clipboard down by his side. And when he did that, he <laughs> wasn't, was he wasn't, he was just watching the show. We had already won. The most uh, memorable <clears throat> time for me was in the national competition yeah. out at the University of Illinois and the bus trip and route out there and the bus trip back and the songs along the way and the camaraderie that we had. It was a group of like-minded cadets who sought to be part of a well-oiled precision drill team in this teamwork and harmony that we had practiced uh, where all that came together, taking pride in the accomplishment of yourself and the team, and it was just special. It was just a very special thing to have been able to have been in this, and I'm sure that everybody has fond memories like I do of, of the Jewel team. It was probably the one time in our lives, each of us, that we were able to really be the best that there was at any one given thing.